What's going on Internet? IG here again with another Linux distro review. Today I'm having a look at the Linux distro community's recent, fairly recent release. Uh, it's actually a few months, a uh, few months old now, but I've been wanting to look at this distribution for quite some time and I'm finally getting around to it. Linux Lite, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> So this distribution is based off Ubuntu's long-term support release, Ubuntu 12.04, and it is got, it is rocking the XFCE desktop environment, and it is created, developed, and maintained by the Linux distro community, headed up really by Voltam. Uh, he's done an amazing job at getting this distribution out there, with of course the support of the rest of the distro community behind him. So for that, I give them major props. Now the goals of this distribution were to be lightweight, to be functional, and also to be easy to use uh, for new users who are used to a traditional Windows-esque paradigm when it comes to the desktop. And I think they've achieved that very nicely with the taskbar down the bottom, two workspace switches here, the notification icons, date and time, a few shortcuts here to what you're going to want to use, and of course a very simplistic menu here as well. Of course most of this is typical XFCE stuff, but it's a fairly vanilla and unconfusing presentation of the XFCE desktop. Anybody who's been using Windows or a computer since the early 90s is going to be familiar with this interface, and as far as I'm concerned, I would just need to add an, a quick keyboard launcher and I would be happy using this. As far as pre-installed applications goes, we basically cover the essentials, a few of the utilities taking out of the lighter desktop environments like LXDE and XFCE, such as your text editor, which is LeafPad, and a few other archiving tools and other essentials like that. Graphics, we have GIMP and the image viewer. Multimedia, we have VLC, which is all you need, Pulse Audio controls, and XF Burn, which is of course a very capable CD DVD burner. Office, we do have LibreOffice here, so it is a it is a fairly decent sized download, but it's not overly heavy. You do get a very nice selection of software out of the box here, and more importantly, you get some wonderful scripts here to help you out with, uh, with common everyday tasks that the average a user is going to run up against when they install this distribution. You've got options here to install calculator, file and folder search, something that I was, when I started out using Linux and started using XFC and LXD, the lighter weights, I did find, I did actually have to Google around for a little while before I found a file and folder search. Installing instant messaging, remote desktop, restricted extras, torrent, video editing, virtual box, weather monitor, and wine. All of the basic software needs that you're going to want to use uh, after using this desktop for any extended period of time. Resources usage is another fun tool here that we have here as well, which I'm going to come back to the menu in a little bit, but I just want to point out that this distribution is only using 126 meg of RAM, and it's not using any of the swap that I gave it either. You can see it's just plunking away at around 2% of the two CPUs that I'm giving it, and yes, this is in VirtualBox in case you are wondering. We have Firefox version 16 for your standard internet browser, and you also have the PC Man FM file manager uh, from LXDE here as your file manager of choice. Very, very speedy. You're not going to notice any performance lags whatsoever here unless you are running on simply ancient hardware. Which honestly brings me to my next point, and that is that this distribution will thrive on older hardware. Because of the fact it's very light on the RAM and also on the CPU, it doesn't run any fancy desktop effects out of the box, although you can enable compares and all sorts of crazy window effects on here if you want. The wide use case scenario that you might be able to use this distro in is pretty impressive. Of course, XFC has come a long way, as I've said before in other videos. You've got a very comprehensive settings manager now. You can manage nearly every part of your system from the XFCE settings panel. And speaking of panel, I might as well mention that you can actually still add new items to the panel like you could in GNOME 2, so that functionality is still there for anybody who wants it. Now, more importantly, what I like about this distribution and what they've done with the menu here in particular is that they've actually called the applications by what they do, not by the crazy titles. Now, I have made comments like this on uh, other distributions which do the same uh, because I really do appreciate the fact that when they do have an application here, they will title it by what it does. For instance, web browser, voice chat, mail, network manager, CD, DVD burner, media player, new document, new spreadsheet, etc. Instead of having all these crazy random open source application names which nobody knows about. Of course, it's based on the LTS of Ubuntu, like I said, so you have the stability there and the updates for about a jillion years. Well done on Voltam and the rest of the team, because if you're looking for a distribution that is simple to use, very lightweight on the resources, and flexible as far as use cases, then we're looking looking at a winner here. It has a more, much more traditional desktop paradigm than what the uh, default release of Zubuntu, the XFCE spin of Ubuntu, so the new user is going to be much more appreciative of it. 
And with all those helpful scripts that they've thrown in there to help you install extra applications that you might be using on a regular basis, you really can't lose. So thanks for watching this video once again. If you liked the video, then click that like button and leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite lightweight distribution is because I am up for suggestions. Uh, people have been asking me to have a look at a lightweight distribution, so definitely let me know down below. Be sure to subscribe if you like these videos on a weekly basis as I also do application reviews, Android app reviews, and other videos whenever I so choose. Thanks again and I'll catch you all later.